Look, we, we all know that the last few years have been extraordinarily challenging for the United States. Now, Eighteen months ago, I took office after nearly a decade of economic policies that gave us sluggish growth, falling incomes, and a record deficit, and policies that culminated in the worst financial crisis that we've seen since the Great Depression. In the last six months of 2008, three million Americans lost their jobs. The month I was sworn in, January of 2009, 750,000 Americans lost their jobs. 600,000 were lost a month later. All told, 8 million jobs lost as a consequence of this crisis. Now, we didn't get here by accident. We got here after 10 years of an economic agenda in Washington that was pretty straightforward. You, you cut taxes for millionaires, you cut rules for special interests, and you cut working folks loose to fend for themselves. That was the philosophy of the last administration and their friends in Congress. If you couldn't find a job or you couldn't go to college, tough luck. You're on your own. But if you're a Wall Street banker, an insurance company, or an oil company, then you got to write your own ticket and play by your own rules. And we know how this turned out. So when I took office, because of the help of some of the people in this room, we put forward a new economic plan, a plan that rewards hard work instead of greed, a plan that rewards responsibility instead of recklessness, a plan that's focused on making our middle class more secure and our country more competitive in the long run so that the jobs and industries of the future aren't all going to China and India but are being created right here in the United States of America. Instead of spending money on tax breaks for folks who don't need them and weren't even asking for them, we're making smart investments in innovation and clean energy and education that are going to benefit all of our people and our entire economy over the long run. And instead of giving special interests free reign to do whatever they want, we're demanding new accountability from Wall Street to Washington. So the big corporations have to play by the same rules that small businesses and entrepreneurs do. Now, because the policies of the last decade got us in such a deep hole, it's going to take some time for us to dig ourselves out. We're certainly not there yet. Uh, but I want everybody to understand, after 18 months, I can say with confidence, we are on the right track. When we were — instead of losing millions of jobs, we have created jobs for six straight months in the private sector. Instead of an economy that is contracting, we've got an economy that is expanding. So the last thing we would want to do is go back to what we were doing before. And I want everybody in this room to understand that is the choice in this election. The choice is — the choice is whether we want to go forward or we want to go backwards to the same policies that got us into this mess in the first place. Now, understand, it'd be one thing if the Republicans had seen the error of their ways. All right? I mean, if after the, the rejections of 2006 and 2008 and realizing, gosh, look at this big disaster that we caused and taking record 
surpluses into record deficits and causing all this hardship. We're going to rethink our approach and go out in the wilderness for a while, come back with some new ideas. <laughs> but that's not what happened. It's not like they've engaged in some heavy reflection. They have not come up with a single solitary new idea to address the challenges of the American people. They don't have a single idea that's different from George Bush's ideas, not one. Instead, they're betting on amnesia. That's what they're counting on. They're counting on that y'all forgot. They think that they can run the okie doke on Bamboozle ya. I mean, think about it. Th these are the folks who were behind the steering wheel and drove the car into the ditch. So we've had to put on our galoshes. We went down there in the mud. We've been pushing. We've been shoving. They've been standing back, watching. Say, you're not moving fast enough. You ain't doing it right. Why are you doing it that way? You got some mud on the car. Right? So we're, that's all right. We don't need help. We're just going to keep on pushing. We push, we push. Things slipping a little bit, but we, we stay with it. Every, Finally, finally we get this car out of the ditch. We're, we're just right there on the, on the black top. We're, we're, we're about to start driving forward again. They say, hold on, we want the keys back. <laughs> you can't have the keys back. You don't know how to drive. You don't know how to drive. And, and I do want to point out, when you get in your car, when you go forward, what do you do? You put it in D. When you want to go back, what do you do? You put it in R. You don't want to go into reverse back in the ditch. We want to go forward. We got to put it in D. Can't have the keys back. 